Yo, what up? This is Hiro the Hero, the only rapper that matters, homie. And you watching Bring the Noise. I don't think anything else could fit in there. Burt school, hard work, and then death. That's about it, man. Because you gotta work hard to try to get anything you want, man. And it, through this whole repetitive process of birth school work death, everyone tries to find who they are and find themselves. And if not, you get stuck in the cycle that they want you to be in, so it's trying to get you out of it. And that's what I'm trying to do with my album. I'm trying to lift people up, trying to let people think, you know what I'm saying? Try to give positive vibes out to the world and try to get everybody to be on a higher frequency. And that's what I'm trying to do with this whole record and every single thing I do. Even when I step on stage live, that's what I'm trying to do. Oh man, it's crazy. I mean, I'm happy that the people that I've seen that, that work with me and everything have been amazing people. But as far as it goes, I've been seeing fake people from the beginning where I'm from, you know, Southside Houston, Texas, the hood where I'm at. It's fake people you got to deal with on different occasions all the time, man. And I see it and I just know these are not who these people are. Everybody is someone else, you know. The TV makes us who we are. Everybody is somebody else. We're not ourselves. We have to try to find who we are throughout this whole life that we live in, man. And that's what I'm trying to make people do. But some people are so stuck on fake. They stuck on this is how things are supposed to be. They're stuck on materialism that they get lost into the whole mix and lose the path of what they were headed on. Because at one point in time, they were headed to do something good. But they got lost in the whole fold of everything and lost who they were. So that's what I'm trying to help everybody do, you know, find yourself, find who you are, and stop being artificial, man. There's too much fake people in this world, man. Be your damn self. Be innovative and stop imitating, man. That's what it is. It's full of it, man. It's so crazy. Everybody tries to be so different in L.A. that they're all the same. They try to dress different that they're all the same. Every single person. They all plastic. Talk, speak of plastic people, they're literally plastic because the women's bodies don't even be real sometimes. You know what I'm saying? It's really plastic. Everybody's Barbie dolls. Their emotions is fake. You can tell a lot of them read books and try to follow what the books say. You know what I'm saying? About the eye contact and things like that. Like, they don't even know what the hell to do. They just can't be themselves, man. It's a, it's a, LA's a weird place, but you gotta love it, man. It's LA. It's a great feeling out there, though. I mean, even amongst all them fake people, you can find some, some cool people to hang with and things like that. But I'm a brother that keep to myself, and I like chilling, man, and just do what I do, man. So I feel like people will gravitate toward what I do, man, more than anything. Well, me, basically, man, it's just, I don't know, I was born with this whole attitude of helping people. I don't even know where it come from. I don't know what it is, but I just can't see anybody without helping, man. That's just the type of person I am, and I see some trouble in the world, and I want to help. I don't know where it really comes from, where it originates from. Maybe because of my parents, you know what I'm saying, I grew up the right way. Some of these kids ain't grow up the right way, you know, so, and that has a lot to do with a lot of things, but that doesn't mean you have an excuse to do the things you're doing, you know what I'm saying, to be negative. Everything's so negative in the world right now. Like say you look at YouTube comments on t on the internet, everything is negative. Nobody uplifts anybody. We're quick to say negative things to each other, you know, even when friends talk amongst each other, it's always negative. It's on some, hey, what up, bitch? What you doing, nigga? You know what I'm saying? It's trying to bring everybody down. We don't try to uplift anybody, and if you try to uplift somebody, they look at you weird. You get what I'm saying? It's a weird world we live in right now, man. And this this whole person I am, I don't know where it comes from, man, but I just have that, that need in me to help and be positive. And when I see something wrong, I have to try to fix it. And I think a lot of things wrong in the world right now, and I think us as people can do better, you know? Not really. I'm just a positive person, man, no matter what it is. If you if you always stay positive, positivity will surround you. But if you're negative, negative things will surround you. So all those people who got those negative mindsets, things will come about to them that's negative. You know what I'm saying? I'm always a positive person. I keep a smile on my face. I'm always happy, man. I got great things happening. Even when I didn't have much, I always was smiling because I knew something was going to happen. I feel confident about myself. I'm confident in what I do. Any work I do, I'm always hard working at it. If I was a janitor, I'd be the best janitor in the world. You know what I'm saying? I worked at Coca-Cola. I felt like I was the best worker at Coca-Cola. I did 18 wheelers. I thought I was the best worker, but my homeboy was the best worker doing it. You know what I'm saying? But 
<laughs> but I'm always hard work. And once you keep that attitude toward things and stop thinking everybody after you is against you all the time, everybody say, oh, the white man, this, the white man, that. The white man don't care about nothing but money. You know what I'm saying? That green is the only thing that matters. So you work and keep your mind focused on what really matters in this world, and you'll get the things that you want, man, you know? Oh man, it's just that it's time for me to give some originality to things, you know what I'm saying? I use those samples as a way of showing how original I was by showing the people the cool music that I listen to that separates me from the from other hip-hop artists or, or anybody else that I like this cool music. That quarter, sort of made me original in a sense, but it's not my music. So now I come to the album and I want to bring the cool music that I listen to from the people. So I came to Ross Robinson, he put together the awesome band, you know, with Paul from At The Drive-In, Daniel from Idiot Pilot, Mark and Cody from The Blood Brothers, and put together this cool music that I wanted. I feel like it straight came out of my mind and onto the CD, just ripped out of my, my brain, man. And just wanted to give that original, originality to, to separate me from every single person on this planet and I think I've done that with this album I walked the line between rock and rap the right way that I always say man and I, I feel like I'm doing that and it's coming it's coming to light now no I get that sense that they get it I think they feel it if they don't just sit there listening to the words the music in itself is speaking and speaking to you you know the way the drums hit the harsh attitude and the way I look on stage and things like that then when they go back to the record they can sit down and listen to it but from what I'm getting I'm I'm hearing kids they go man I hate rap but I love you that lets me know that they heard the words and they were getting the things that I was talking about you know I like to see everybody going crazy and rocking out but sometimes you see somebody just sitting there just vibing to it like this and I hear that they, they I know that they're listening to to what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, I really, I hardly get any negative um, comments about anything I do, man. Nah, man, I love it. This is what I always dreamed of, man. I love it. I have no problem with it. I dig it, man. I like walking out there and the kids seeing me. The only thing I don't like is if, because the tour buses stay in front. So, when I need to get something out of my bag, it looks like I'm just going back and forth trying to get more, <laughs> more attention or something like that. But that, that ain't what I'm trying to do. I'll forget something and be like, oh shit, I gotta go back right now. <laughs> but I mean, I love it, man. These kids are awesome. I, I mean, I like to sign autographs. They tell me how much they like the music. I take pictures, do all of that. And then the coolest thing is to go on the internet and see them write about the stuff that they thought was cool that I was doing on Twitter and Facebook and things like that, man. Not at all, man. I mean, the only thing is probably when I was younger is to be like, stop talking so damn much, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Start listening more. But other than that, man, I, I, I really decided at a young age when I was in high school that, hey, I want to do this and I'm going to do what it takes to get there. And so, and I met my manager, Benji, and he put me on the right track of how to get to where I need to get. And I just, I'm gonna listen. I'm not gonna argue against anything because you know older people they know what to do and things like that. So if I feel that it's right, I'm gonna go with it, man. And I've been on a great path ever since I moved out to LA. Everything's been on the up and up, man. I really never had any negative things go down. Mm -hmm.